in the first unit of our second PUC biology, we have unit by the name reproduction. In first year human physiology, we explained digestion, excretion, respiration, neural coordination, then endocrine system, locomotion and movement. But except reproduction, all the human physiological event we explained in detail. With respect to the plant also, uh, we explain all general character like anatomy, morphology. Even in plant physiology also, we explain photosynthesis, respiration, growth, development, mineral nutrition. But we may not explain the term a reproduction. Therefore, in second year, you have to study the reproduction process in detail. Hence, in first unit, the first topic includes the reproduction in organism, where you have to study all the reproductive events of the organisms from microorganism to human beings. Almost all, it is a general review of a reproduction process in all organisms that is microorganisms all plants all in animals including human beings whereas the second topic includes sexual reproduction in flowering plants that is a human sorry that is a angiosperms then third one is human reproduction complete human reproductive event we have to explain the last one human reproductive health like that totally in first in it we have four topics in that first we begin with what the reproduction in organisms the first topic that is uh, a reproduction in organisms when you consider here First, we should know what do we mean by reproduction. It is a biological process where production of young one or we may say as a offspring as that of a parents or near to the parents. This biological process we call the name reproduction. The first term in this topic mainly the term lifespan is given. Lifespan means it is period from birth to natural death of natural death of organisms. Why do you have to use word a natural death? Sometimes the organisms may die due to a disease or accidents, natural disasters or even by a accidents at that time that period we may not consider as a a generally the lifespan therefore lifespan of a organism can be defined it's a time or period from birth to natural death of organisms then this uh, lifespan of organism may not depends on shape of the organism even size of the organism as well as structure of the organism. For example, you take a crow as well as the parrot having roughly same size but parrot lifespan is more, crow is less. You take mango and banyan tree, once again roughly they have same size but uh, banyan tree lifespan is more, mango is less. As we know, the especially any organism in nature after birth it grows 
then attain maturity then after maturation it start production of egg one that process what we call the name reproduction then after reproduction there is the aging state phase finally the death therefore the specially period from birth to natural death of organism generally we call the name life span if you consider the life span of different organisms first elephant can live for 75 years rose 10 years dog 25 years butterfly just one to two weeks only crow survive for 15 years banana tree two years cow you take 25 years parrot 140 years therefore as i mentioned earlier the crow and parrot having similar size but lifespan is different crocodile for 60 years horse 50 years fruit fly one month rice plant four months tortoise 100 to 150 years bunny and tree 300 to 500 years rat lives for four years rabbit 30 years monkey 26 years cat 35 to 40 years fail 37 years sea animal 78 years eagle 90 years human being 100 years pupil plant can survive for 2000 to 3000 years sequoia we call redwood tree a gymnosperm member it can survive for 3000 to 4000 years Ferris loria it is a oldest plant found in a botanical garden of california have a lifespan of 11300 years may fly can survive hardly only one day that means within one day they complete life cycle it's a slide which shows loria longest living plant which is found in botanical garden of california then as we know sequoia zagantia tallest tree belongs to gymnosperms maybe once again we seen in a specialized forest of california we call them as a sequoids commercially they use redwood tree and uh, by these slides it uh, gives us a clear knowledge how much taller conifers in the world these are all what you say the a sequoia gigantia trees then this slide it's a mayfly it uh, only ability to survive for one day therefore its lifespan is one day only if you consider the process of reproduction it is a formation or production of young one from their parents these young one may be having exactly same as that of parent or near to be same then the specially reproduction in case of organism takes place due to continuity of life on earth then this a important a biological process we may classify into two main types one is asexual reproduction the name itself indicates where sexes are not involved sex cells are not involved then second one sexual reproduction here two sex cells are involved 
or two sexes are involved. Hence, if you consider a sexual reproduction is a production of young one without gametic fusion, without sex cell fusion. Yes, that is young one develops without fertilization or the young one develops without gametic fusion that is egg and sperm may not fused during a young one development that what we call asexual reproduction if you consider the asexual reproduction character mainly in asexual reproduction single parent is involved that is we call uniparental that means single parent here we cannot uh, say as a the male and female or mother and father second one the specially the somatic cell we call it we also vegetative cell or a non-sex cell involved in reproduction hence it we also called somatic reproduction we know other than egg and sperm all the cells present in organism body we call somatic cell or vegetative cell then no gametes formation that is gametogenesis uh, is absent in case of the asexual reproduction then no gametes fusion that is that we may say no fertilization no fertilization at all and whatever the young one produced by asexual reproduction we call clones clones means organisms morphologically morphologically means external future and genetically similar such organisms we call the name the specially clones then there is no involvement of meiosis process meiosis always takes place to form gametes here gametes are not formed hence uh, the meiosis is absent in case of asexual reproduction then during asexual reproduction there is no arise of any variations because there is no gene recombination there is no gametic fusion hence variations are not possible during asexual reproduction if you take uh, different types of asexual reproduction here first one binary fission under favorable condition the most common type of uh, multiplication is seen in amoeba, euglena, paramecium and bacteria. Whereas the multiple fission is a type of asexual reproduction mainly we see in, uh, under unfavorable condition mainly in case of monocyst, plasmodium and amoeba histolytica. Then there are some uh, specialized spores are produced asexually in that conidiospores we see in penchidium notatum then zoospores spores they are the motile spores we see in case of algae by the name climatomonos then formation of bud we call budding commonly budding is seen in case of yeast as well as hydra there are different uh, vegetative part of the plant body involved in the reproduction that uh, we include under vegetative reproduction for example, you take a stem tuber as we seen in case of potato, the tuber is formed underground, rhizome, we seen in case of ginger and turmeric, bulb in case of onion and garlic, runner we call lawn grass, especially upset we seen water hyacinth or icornia, 
leaf buds commonly we seen in case of bryophylla bulbil we seen in case of agave these are all different mode of uh, asexual reproduction we seen in different organisms that we have to consider in detail in second part